Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe for all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals. Head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. Okay, Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me if I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. All right, let's go ahead and ground. And I haven't done this in a really long time. But I feel the need to do this, okay? So this is going to be your person's deck. And this is going to be you, okay? And who we going to start off with? We're going to start off with your person. We're going to give them the courtesy as they have not been too honest. And as they, okay, and I forgot to say, this is for my motherfucking Sagittarius. Let me go ahead and ground again. Did I say collective before? I meant Sagittarius. Anyway, so I've done this a while back. Um, so let's just go ahead and see. This is your person speaking. And my favorite deck, the pink one, is you. We're going to let your person go first. Let's see what they have to say. Okay, what do they have to say? Two of Cups. Okay. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Five of Swords. And then we have the Ten of Discs. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So this person sees a future with you. They see a future with you. They want to tell you that they see a future with you. They know that there's been a lot of hurt, a lot of regret, a lot of pain, a lot of defeat, a lot of um, shit going on. You know, a lot of um, arguing, bickering, can't seem to get along in the situation. It's been a lot of that shit. It's, lot, it's been a lot of telling you one thing, doing a fucking another. It's been a lot of not be, third parties. It's been a lot of not being able to come to the forefront and really be their true self and, and go ahead and ascend. So let's see what you want to say back to that. So this person wants you to know that they've always seen a future with you, but they got stuck in their own head and they fucked it up. Okay, this is what flipped over. Then we have the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and then the King of Cups. So, yeah, you know that this is a person from your past. You're, you're like, over the Two of Cups, like, fuck that. I need consistency. I need you to show me. I need effort because I've been through a lot, a lot of heartbreak situations, and I don't got time for that shit no more. You about to have missed this opportunity, or you already have missed this opportunity for whoever that resonates with, right? Because... I'm tired of sitting up here waiting for you. I'm tired of sitting up here giving you the benefits of the doubt and you just giving me fucking nothing, right? Give me a, a damn spoonful of fucking nothing. And then we have the King of Cups. Uh, I've been having to show my strength. I've been having to get out of my head. I've been having to, you know, you know, see if I'm fucking crazy about seeing these constant reminders and signs and synchronicities. All for you to fuck it up and all for you to betray me and all for you to, you know, have cost me this heartbreak and be conflict and saying some shit that you ain't really mean you was trying to say, right? All right. Let's go ahead. Let's see what your person got to say again. Shuffle one more time. But what does your person have to say, okay? Six of Wands in reverse. So they wanted, like, this to be a winning situation, but they wasn't winning. There was This person got in their own head too much, okay? And then we have the Queen of Wands in reverse, the Fool in reverse. They were not able to get in their full energy and take that leap. They were overthinking shit. They were thinking about what other people was thinking too much, right? And then we have the Six of Swords. Like, all these cards in reverse, they were in their lower vibrational energy. They're telling you right the fuck now, I was in my lower vibrational energy. I wasn't able to get my shit together. I know I fucked up. I know I was telling you shit that you wanted to hear just so I could get what the fuck I wanted. And five of pentacles. I, I know that this very may, uh, I know that very way, this very may well be a missed opportunity. So you got a match there where both of y'all got the five of pentacles. Like he, this person is on one hand, you're like, damn, I've been putting up with a, a whole bunch of shit and I don't want to take this shit no more because I'm tired of giving you the benefit of the doubt. And your person is like, damn, I missed the opportunity. I fucked it up. Why do I always got to fuck the situations up that really people are showing me this person is showing me this unconditional love and I didn't even know how to fucking take it. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and see what you want to say back to that. So they know they were being lower vibrational. They know that they fucked up. They know that what they was being like leaving you in a sexual connotation, thinking about, you know, uh, sex all the time. Right? That's the only thing they was caring about whenever it was convenient for them. They wasn't really putting too much thought into it. They was like, but they knew that it was there. But it, like, they knew that it was there. They knew that you're, you know, this was a more than just that. Hangman. So you gonna say, you what back? You say, I'm seeing a new perspective. I'm letting go of anything that no longer serves me. It's no more contemplating. I'm, I'm definitely seeing different viewpoints. And if, no long, if it no longer serves me, what is this? Queen of Cups. Um, I'm already a very intuitive person. I don't have to take shit. I, I, ain't, I ain't never need nobody. I just wanted you. I'm seeing new horizons. I'm improving myself. I'm, I'm working on myself. I'm healing. I know that I'm very compassionate. I know that you may have not been on my level at this point in time. I know that you may have not been ready for a woman to my degree. You, you've you never been in the presence of a woman to my degree that, you know, you was used to people playing games and shit. So whenever you got with me and I was a person that was serious and stable and not worrying about playing no games and being honest and wearing my heart on my sleeve, like, I done did that shit too much, so it's not gonna be nothing but you proving that shit from now on if I even want to give you the opportunity. And that's on period. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what they want to say. The devil. So they know they've been in stagnation. They know that they have been stuck in their head. They know that they have been in bondage. And what are they going to do with, with being in bondage? What are they going to do? You see this? It's like they were trying to leave you in bondage because they were damn burning. There was a lot of shit. Like, look at all these skeletons in their closet. There was a lot of shit that they had to deal with, whether that be childhood trauma, whether that be lack mentality, whether that be third party situations, whether that be addiction, all the shit that was leaving them stuck, all the shit that was leaving them to put, all the shit that was putting before you, period. All that shit right there. All of it, right? All of the skeletons in their closet. I really feel like there could be some addiction involved, right? So, so definitely it, it doesn't even matter even if there isn't. Even if there isn't, there there was a lot of illusions. Seven of Cups, there was a lot of illusions that this person had in their mind that they couldn't really put their heart out there and they were constantly withholding from you. A lot of choices that, they, 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 you know, they had that manipulative energy towards trying to manipulate the situation when they didn't realize that shit, right? They didn't realize that you were the one. So they're, they're realizing that, damn, I'm, a, I'm manipulating my motherfucking person. This is my actual person. And I manipulated the fuck out of them. So are they going to be willing to take me back? Are they going to be willing to accept me? Are they going to be willing to hear me the fuck out? That's what they're saying. There was a lot of shit that I hid from them. The moon. There was a lot of shit that I didn't even see because of spell work and because of, you know, the, the word, our words are powerful. Very powerful. But I, they do want this ten of cups, happy family relationship with you. Let's put it back on you. Death. Cut it right on deck, death and, and then six of wands. And then the will of fortune. And then the ace of cups. So you're like, I'm transitioning. I want new beginnings. Whether that be you doing your spiritual awakening and we start this new beginning or whether it not be. Regardless, I'm winning. I'm going to continue to do me. I'm going to continue to win. I can't listen to words anymore. I have to listen to what the fuck you're really showing me, right? And then we have, you're, you're having the, these good life cycles because of these karmic, cycles, karmic lessons that you've learned not being repeated. You're having these, these, um, this, this will of fortune, right? Where you have those, those karmic cycles and that good luck and that pos positivity and that progress and that prosperity coming back on you. And then we have the Ace of Cups. Because, you, because you've realized this, you are being granted new beginnings. You are be gr being granted, you are being rewarded, Right? You are being rewarded for this. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and get some last advice. Let's go ahead and get some last advice, y'all. You know how I'll just do random, right? Now thou, son of the man, wilt thou judge, wilt thou judge the bloody city? Yea, thou shalt show her all the abominations. Oh, 
Okay. So it was like somebody was judging a situation, whether this be somebody that depended on somebody they were leaning on, somebody in their family, somebody that they show, um, told their information, you know, shared their information with, told them about you or whatever. Somebody there was looking down on you or somebody there was separating you where, you know, there was a, whether that be the addiction, the choice. So that's just confirmation that these choices that I was talking about, the addictions, whatever it may be, whatever they were putting before you, that was something that they were putting on a, you know, they were looking up to, but now they see that the thing that they should have been putting on a pedestal and, and, um, it's you and that's on period. The thing that was giving them unconditional love is what they should have been putting on a pedestal. And let me go ahead and put some last advice on it for all of my Sagittarius. Cut the deck on forgiveness. So this, pe this person is really hoping that you have it in your heart to forgive them. They really are hoping that you have it in their heart, your heart to forgive them and show you the compassion, show them the compassion that you know that they have because they want to show that compassion back to you. Right? This is for this group. I do see a group coming together for sure. Because it's going to be closure had in this situation. They want closure in this situation because they definitely feel like, um, you know, that hasn't been had. Let's go ahead and get a couple more cards. Healing. This person is going through a healing stage in their life. They're going through a healing stage in their life. And through this healing, they're understanding that they have to go for what they know. And, you know... Reciprocate that energy back to people that are giving you that unconditional love back to people that are showing you that. And once they do that, they know that they will be prosperous with you. All right, all right, all right. For all of my Sagittarius, I, I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for your love and constant support. Thank you. As always, don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. For all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. As always, peace, love, and namaste.